Right? I'm wondering, can we make a Tiki Torque Pivot Spirit Cocktail Collaborative Extraordinaire? We sure can. What are we going to do? We're going to do a Pivot Broke. Sunrise. Sunrise. And through the magic of camera, bam! <laughs> well, you can't say it while you pull it out. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's probably going to be you know what I mean, though? No. Like, if you're saying a sentence, we can't clip that sentence. <laughs> you have to do so it quietly. It <laughs> 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 me, take two, I guess. <laughs> hey, folks, welcome to the show. We got a real special episode. Scott's away at the Edmonton Comedy Festival because he's a real comedian. So you get me, Juan Forno from Cerveza City, as your guest host. Today I'm joined by Lars and Rochelle from Pivot Spirits. This is Distillery City. What are we drinking? These are our six spirits that we have ready for your sale at this point in time. Uh, so go ahead and, and sample them, Juan. Uh, start with the vodka. That's our most neutral spirit. I make it from barley and it has nice, sweet, caramel, vanilla notes to it. I taste that. I taste the vanilla and caramel. Oh. I wouldn't be able to pick that out myself had I just been like, oh, frack guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that. I don't, I don't, I don't. That was 18 year old one. I still do that. <laughs> go, What's next? <laughs> go, go to the Triticale spirit. It's a lightly aged, can't call it whiskey until it's aged for three years. It's been aged for one month. It's a unique grain that uh, is grown a lot in this area and not many whiskeys are made from that at this point in time. Oh. How do you like that? That's really good. Rochelle, you were telling me something interesting before uh, we turned on the cameras about this particular spirit. Yes, that spirit is actually only being distilled by uh, four distilleries in North America, and we're one of them. All of North America? All of North America. Like Canada? And the US. <laughs> I was going to say Mexico, <laughs> and the country we would not name in the middle. <laughs> Nailed it. What's next? <laughs> Uh, go to a, either the barley or the rye. Okay, we'll go barley. Those are whiskey spirits, just lightly aged again, uh, similar to the triticale. So these these whiskeys are 100% grain bills, so that's 100% barley. Should taste like a nice young scotch. It does, it's so good. It's really good, the rye. Tell yeah, me. Canadians, Canada is well known for the rye. Uh, a lot of people think rye means whiskey, that's how common that is in Canada, but this is just 100% rye grain, and hopefully it's you find it as smooth as all of the spirits. So it far. is. They're so smooth. Oh. Like nothing, I'm like, again, 18-year-old Juan, he's done some shots. <laughs> <laughs> not good shots. <laughs> not. Things I'm not proud of. These, you can sit. You can yes. absolutely sit. Yeah, yeah, you should be able to. But yeah. they're so good, it can be dangerous. It is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Next, uh, go to the gin, and Rochelle can tell you about that. Uh, Oop, I have a though. sensitivity to some of the botanicals, so Rochelle and my son Liam developed this. Okay. Yeah, so we have two gin recipes that we've uh, completed, and one was our pharmacy gin. Uh, which is a contemporary gin. And the next one is our winter gin, which is like Christmas in a glass. Christmas in a glass. He must be a South Pole elf. <laughs> no? Uh, you said elf. Elf. Ah, nailed it. There you go. There it's Michelle's favorite movie. <laughs> I love that movie. <laughs> All right, let's start with something real simple. Uh, we ask everybody where the name came from. Obviously, the spirit part. I get it. You two are obsessed with ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a dumb joke. Oh, I hate it. Anyways, where did the where did the pivot part of the pivot spirits come from? Well, actually, uh, the spirits part is because we're spiritual. Oh, but we wanted to recognize <laughs> people's spirituality. Right. Yeah. Because uh, it could have been just yeah, like, right? It's not true. <laughs> I don't uh, believe it. <laughs> and uh, the pivot, uh, it was one of the ideas of many I had that Rochelle was not agreed to, but when I mentioned pivot to her, she immediately said yes. And 
to me it was because all the crops that I grow that I'm distilling are grown under pivot irrigation systems. Um, so I wanted to play on an agricultural type of theme. And for Rochelle, it was more than that. It had to do with, you know, businesses having to pivot their plans and production and finances and um, to run any successful business you have to do you know a lot of pivoting of course it had more to do with trying to get him to stop farming and doing something else but <laughs> that's just my take pivot into alcohol <laughs> it's a good way to pivot yeah that was a big pivot i mean i tell you <laughs> michael jordan should have pivoted into <laughs> I am a basketball lover, dude. Oh, nice. <laughs> Nailed that one. <laughs> Nailed it. How important is it to pivot spirits to use locally sourced ingredients and furthermore use environmentally friendly practices when you're distilling? It's very important to us. Uh, I grew up as an immigrant family and we were taught to reuse, not waste anything, and those values are shared by Rochelle even more than, than me. Um, so we grow our own crops, we recycle uh, after the alcohol is removed, we feed it to the cows. Uh, we're using solar power to power as much as we can here, all energy efficient equipment, and uh, uh, we try to minimize garbage also. We have uh, tasting glasses, not throw away cups. Um, we're trying to do as much as we can. Now, I heard you reuse alcohol and feed it to the cows. <laughs> you guys get cows fucked up no. here? <laughs> That's a spent match. It's spent. No, they're they're happy cows, but they're not drunk cows. <laughs> can we get some cows drunk? I mean, <laughs> now that the Only idea is I'm not doing my job properly if that happen. I'm in. <laughs> no, it's really just like porridge for the cows. It's not, it, There's not very much alcohol left in it, but they really like it. They come running. Maybe there is some alcohol in there. <laughs> we have some addicts out there. Yeah, we're, we hope to incorporate it into our tours to have a farm tour component where people can actually see the cows come running for that spent mash. It's really fun. <laughs> Supporting local seems to be something that's fairly important to the two of you. Now, when it comes to craft beverages, whether it be beer, or distilleries, or winery, it's a real community, almost province or nationwide. How has Alberta supported Pivot? They've supported us really well. <clears throat> we were thinking our initial community might be just Southern Alberta, especially our the irrigation area that we live in and involved in. Uh, but maybe it's COVID has helped that, that people are traveling through the province more, but I'm overwhelmed by the people coming here, stopping through. Uh, they're going to different parks and recreational areas, uh, working. It, it's just mind boggling to me that support we've had from people across the province that want to support local businesses. And, and they're considering us local and want to support us. It's really great. All right, we made a stop on our way here and we picked up some Tiki Torque Tropical IPA from our friends down the road at Piston Broke. Number one viewed episode of all time. I'm challenging you two to beat that. Take that, Craig. <laughs> Can we collaborate and make a Tiki Torque Pivot Spirits cocktail? Yes, we can. What are we gonna do? We're gonna do a Pivot Broke Sunrise. And now, through the magic of camera editing, whoa oh, bam! The Pivot Broke Sunrise. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but you have a fairly cordial relationship with our friends down the road at Piston Broke. Craig, Ariel, the rest of the team, three words describe them. Um, genuine. Poisonous. Wait, pause. <laughs> Fun, I get. I, I was there. We got drunk. Ooh, but did you get poisoned? Yeah, that's what I want to get to. <laughs> Explain. We were there having some drinks, and we like beer, so I feel confident in the amount of beer that we can drink, and we 
left that place poisoned. <laughs> like not remembering how we got home, sleeping by nine, projectile vomiting shortly after. Yeah, I've met Ariel and Craig. That sounds about right. That's about accurate. <laughs> but in all truth, it's the nature of our business, right? Well, uh, you know, I deal in ethanol, and it's a good alcohol, not like methanol and acetone. Like, I cut those out. But even if you drink enough ethanol, you'll get poisoned. So. Shit, yeah. <laughs> On that happy note, <laughs> cheers. <laughs>Why should people go to craft distilleries instead of these big box, Miranoff, Captain Morgan's, Jack Daniels, yada, yada, yada? Um, it's along with the lines of uh, what we're doing. You know, we're, we're using local products, we're supporting local communities, and we're not mass producing uh, spirits and throwing a bunch of marketing at it. We're real people making real products with a lot of love and care to detail. And uh, it's it's just something that's very popular and very rewarding and appreciated by a lot of people. You should know that I would never sit and sip Smirnoff vodka, so. And you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs>
How do you avoid something so great as gin and something so crappy like winter and not having a negative connotation on your spirit? Um, the name of our spirit is winter gin because we're just kind of avoiding the word Christmas gin because Christmas is really only a couple months, but winter is literally seven months in this country. <laughs> so we just want to keep it on the shelf a little bit longer and it's very seasonal. Um, so that's why we kind of named it, not to like associate with horrible weather or anything. I think people can appreciate that we have winters here. We have to accept that. and. This is just a fun gin that you can just like curl up in front of the fireplace and make some cocktails, have your friends over and do all the fun things that you do in the winter time. For the folks that are watching and thinking of traveling here, we have winters that literally last seven months, come between <laughs> like June and August. <laughs> Rap music pops up in our series every once in a while. It happened at Fitzsimmons, it happened at Revival, uh, it happened at Piston Broke. Ariel sang and rapped a Nelly song. That happened. Now, I need you to explain a Lizzo line for me from her hit song in 2017, Water Me. The line goes, I'm so pretty and so ditty when these boys be after Kitty, I just snap and pivot. What you talking about? I really don't know. But I'm glad you brought my attention to that song because I've been looking for a theme song for our distillery. <laughs> so uh, I've come, I've, I, had a, I had a carpenter who did a lot of work for us here, Revolution Builders. And I was like, I asked him, do you have a theme song for your company? He's like, no, and I said, well, that Evolution Revolution song by Monster Truck, man, that's your song. And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. But now, I didn't know that there was any song that had pivot in it. So I'm not sure why she's pivoting, but I'm glad she's talking about it because that's a cool song. I got your marketing campaign. Snap <laughs> and pivot. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> that's not what she meant. <laughs> I'm guessing not. I want to know what the best part and what the most difficult part of running a distillery is. The best part is being our own bosses. And your voice traveled like three octaves. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I've never had my own business, so this feels really cool for me. Larry's always been a farmer, work for himself. I don't normally just collect a paycheck, go home. So. This is a, a big investment for us for time and energy and um, just mindfulness of like what we're doing here. So that's the best part for me. I can't speak for you. Uh, for me, it's swimming in a river of booze. Fair. And with the addition of the restaurant with the pizza, now I get to roll in the dough all day long. <laughs> the pizza. I was gonna say, I don't. <laughs> Just from previous conversations <laughs> with previous owners <laughs> on life. All right, that's our episode with Pivot Spirits. They are officially Distillery City certified. Can we get a clap for all the folks here at Pivot Spirits? Thank you so, so much for being on the show. That camera right there, the last 60 seconds is yours. Go ahead. Thanks a lot. That was a lot of fun. I think we'd just like to welcome everyone to try our spirits. We are, we're continuing on developing more spirits down the road from crops grown in the area with some real unique ideas. Uh, Juan seemed to have enjoyed our spirits and the cocktails, uh, so please, Find us at some of the local liquor stores. We're, we're slowly expanding. We're into uh, Brooks, Tabor, Medicine Hat, Lethbridge, and soon we'll be hitting into the Calgary area and uh, Edmonton fairly soon. So enjoy. That's fantastic. Thanks again one more time for being on the show. Tune in next week. I'm not sure where we're at because filming schedule is tough, but check it out. Good night.
I have I have no idea. <laughs> the schedule. The... Aye. <laughs>